There are five display settings that I want to go over with you that I think you'll find helpful. First, we're going to cover the screen resolution. Second of all, how to change the size and text of your windows, making them large or small. Then icon sizing, for example, there's an icon there of the folder, making that large or small. And then I have some advanced settings like changing the color depth. So the higher the color depth, well, the nicer looking that your videos appear to be when you're watching a video. And then finally, the refresh rate, making sure that your screen doesn't flicker so you can look at your computer for longer periods of time without any eye strain, as opposed to having a low refresh rate and seeing your screen flickering a lot because of it. Okay, first of all is the screen resolution. And the screen resolution controls the amount of information that can be displayed upon your screen. Now you're looking at my screen right now, and the resolution is 1024 by 768. 1024 is the width by the height. Now if I want to increase the screen resolution from 1024 here to let's say 1280 by, I don't know what the height would be, 1000 or 1024. When I do that, these icons are going to appear smaller or shrink in size so I can fit more on my screen. If I go the other direction, again I'm at 1024 by 768, and if I shrink this and I go 800 by 600, my screen resolution is going to be smaller, thereby the icons on here are going to appear much larger, which means I can fit less within my screen here. So to make these changes, go ahead and find a blank area and right click and go down to screen resolution. Now up at the top I've got two monitors. I have monitor 1, monitor 2. Which one's which? I can click on identify and this is monitor 2 here. Give it a second or two and it'll disappear. So on monitor 2, if I come over here and select it, the screen resolution is 1024 by 768. Click on the drop down arrow. It says it recommends the highest resolution, which means when I go in the upper end here, my screen is going to be able to fit more information or more icons on the screen, but they're going to be tinier, as opposed to clicking and dragging this down below, which means that I won't be able to fit as much on my screen, but my icons or the images on my screen are going to appear a lot larger. So if I click off in a blank area and click okie dokie, my screen has a hissy fit here and it says, do you want to keep the changes? I say yes. Look at that, my icons are bigger. Anytime I right click and I go down to, well, screen resolution, my window here, everything in it appears larger. And you can see that before, in my previous resolution, it could fit more of this screen in here. So I had much more white space down below. Well, if you're looking at this, the 1024 by 768, I did change it. It just has monitor 1 selected back again. If I go back to monitor 2, again it says, hey, we don't like this. Could you go back to at least a 1024 by 768 because some of the items may not fit on the screen. And I'm going to say, OK. So I'll click on the drop down arrow. And I'm not going to take it all the way up to the highest resolution, but I'll go back to 1024. And when I select it and click okie dokie, I'm going to keep the changes. Okay, while I'm in here, let's cover the make text and other items larger or smaller. Click on the link. And then here you've got your default 100%, which is smaller. Do you want something larger? You can come over here and look in the preview window, and you can see the changes. If I go from smaller to larger, you can see that the text, even in the start menu, is going to be gigantic. So in order for this to work, you have to click apply, and then you have to log off and log back in. In any case, I'll let you mess with that. But trust me, just in the preview window, your text is going to be a lot larger here in your menus in any of the windows that you have here. So I'm going to go ahead and close out. Next, I'm going to show you how to change the icon sizing here without changing your screen resolution. As you recall, when you go to a lower resolution, the icons on your desktop or on your screen are going to appear larger. If you'd like to change that without changing your screen resolution, just find a blank area somewhere on your desktop and right click, and go to view. You can see now I'm viewing medium icons. I can go to large and wow, well, there you go. Which is nice because if you have one of those super duper widescreen monitors, uh, I don't know, 21 inch or I don't, 32 inch, these things are going to be really tiny because in those larger monitors you're going to have a higher screen resolution. It doesn't let you really go back below. Well, it won't let you go to 800 by 600, so you may just want to go ahead and right click, go to view, and then set those to larger. So what looks really large on my low resolution here, 1024 by 768, will look about normal. Or, let me right click and go back to my medium icons, probably look like this on those larger wide screens. Next, if you want to be able to watch your videos and make sure that you got the right color depth so you're getting the richness of the video and not having it look grainy perhaps or the color blending awful, what you can do is you can find a blank area, right click on your desktop, and we're going to go back down to screen resolution. 
come over here and click on the advanced settings link and it brings up this little window come up here click on the monitor tab and first off down below here are the colors click on the drop down arrow and they got the lower color which is 16 bit as opposed to 32 bit now the color depth is the number of bits or color values used to define the color of a single pixel in an image so the more colors you can define in a single pixel of an image the more variation of colors you get the more blending or the smoother the blending of the colors so it doesn't look so grainy so the higher you can go true color go ahead and select it and then click OK and then finally you have the uh, screen refresh rate now the higher the rate that you can go the better because what happens is when you're looking at your screen it has to redraw the images on the screen over and over again and if it draws them fast enough it appears to you that that image is always there but if it has to redraw this at a slower rate then your screen will flicker because as it redraws in fact this window here is a slower rate it may appear like it's flickering because it's drawing it and then it's drawing it again and so on so what you want to do is you want to be able to click on the drop down arrow and choose the highest refresh rate 75 Hertz is the highest I can go for this monitor if it's at 16 you can go higher by all means go higher now down below it says hide the modes that this monitor cannot display I recommend that you check that because if you uncheck it and you click on the drop down arrow you may have modes that go all the way up to I don't know 100 or 250 and when you try to select 250 if it goes that high and click OK it may have a hissy fit and not change for you so again just check this and say look what can this monitor do so when you click on the drop down arrow you stay within the range of what the monitor can perform select the highest click okie dokie and at least that way for those of you who are sensitive or more sensitive than some of us to that flickering it should reduce the eye strain won't eliminate it but at least you won't have as much problems than if you didn't change it and kept it at that lower refresh rate thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for all my training please visit me at my website dreamforce.us